Okay, I'm going to give you a little tour of a typical pump. This is a close coupled pump. You can see the motor is attached directly to the pump. There is no coupling. The motor shaft goes through the backplate. So we're going to zoom in on this right now. There are four bolts that hold the motor on. Do not take those four bolts out until we get the rest of this. I have them out of mind just for ease of doing this so I can show you this quicker. But do not take those bolts out. There are eight bolts or six bolts or twelve bolts around the periphery of the back plate that go into the casing. You can see this. They're out as well and this is up a little bit. Those are the ones you take out. You can gen generally leave the casing in the piping and pull the rotating assembly out. We're going to pull that out now and I'll show you what's inside. Once that's off, you're at the impeller. You can pull the impeller bolt out. Once we have pulled the impeller bolt out, we're going to pull the impeller off. Most times you can put two screwdrivers under there and lift it off so the impeller comes off quite easily, revealing the seal kit. The impeller is keyed to the motor shaft, so we are assembling that now. now I'm going to put this back on and show you what to do if it's stuck. Okay, we are back a little bit. If the impeller has grown roots onto the shaft or is stuck on there, I will put a gear puller on there and tighten this up until it's very snug. And I have placed my hammer. And give this a sharp whack. Retighten. Give it another whack. The tapping will pull that up. It's okay since we're going to rebuilding this to put a, be rebuilding this to put a little bit of lubricant or something on the shaft. Now, as you're doing this, watch these two areas that you're pulling on. You don't want that impeller to come up. These are cast; they're not super strong. So you will tap, tighten. Don't pull; just tighten, retighten it. Tap, retighten. If you're going to reuse the motor, you don't want to tap real hard because you're tapping on the bearings. So you just you want to tap that and retighten. It may take a while. But that impeller will eventually come off. You will win. Once we have the impeller off, take the key way out, we are at the seal kit. The spring should come right off. A lot of times there will be a sleeve spacer. So take a look and see if there's a couple of different types of metal. When these get dirty, it's a little harder to tell. Take your screwdriver and just, just touch that. Pull the sleeve off. The next thing is to pull out the rotating head. So we're going to pop our screwdrivers in there and we're going to just lift this out. Now, that came off very easily. Yours won't do that, but you're going to have to get, get some way to do that. Try not to gouge. If you're going to reuse the motor in the sleeve, don't gouge the sleeve. At this point, we are at the bottom we're down, we can now see the stationary seat. Now that's going to look a lot worse. A lot of times it looks like there's not even one there. It just looks like the floor due to corrosion and stuff, but it's there. Let me show you an example of what one looks like when it's really messed up. Okay, this is one that's, uh, you'll see them, they'll look a lot more like this than the nice one that I'm working on right now. But you're going to have to get that seat out of there. That one looks like it has grown in there. That's an old style metal nigh resist type and a lot of times they will literally rust into that hole. I'll show you how to get that out. Okay, at this time we're going to take the four bolts that hold the motor to the bracket or the back plate, the adapter, whatever you want to call it. We're going to take those out and we're going to lift that up. Now, there's times when you're going to have to get in there and pry it a little bit because that too will stick. Everything is prone to sticking. And once that's off, we are at the motor. Now while we're here, we're going to take a look at this sleeve. The only part of this sleeve that makes any difference whatsoever is where the rotating head rides, and that's up here in this upper portion. It can look horrible from here down. It's going through the back plate, doesn't do any sealing. It's only the top part of that that does the sealing. So if this is all gouged up and corroded and all kinds of stuff, it doesn't really matter as long as that top inch, we'll say, looks okay. Okay, now we have the bracket off the motor. Off the motor. 
and the stationary seat is right there, that has to come out. There's not much of a way to get a hold of that to pry it out because you just can't get the leverage. So what has to be done is that has to be turned over and it has to be tapped out. Usually there's a little lip that you can see and what you're going to do is you're going to tap this out with a screwdriver. Again, I don't recommend framming, banging. I recommend starting with tapping. This one came out pretty easy. If you have a uh, silicone carbide one, it's going to break and come right out. Some of the older metal types are a little harder to get out, but you want to just tap around the periphery of that until you can push that out, and that leaves the place for the new seal. Okay, we have dissembled our pump.